Live Show. Blonde, blonde, blonde. Everybody uh, give a question the way you was. <laughs> you want to <really> know? <laughs> I thought so. Switch their mobiles off, please, before we start. Um, good afternoon. Thanks very much for joining us here today at the uh, Landmark Hotel. Um, we're here for the British head to head between Vitaly Klitschko and Derek Chisora, who will be fighting for, sorry, fighting on the 18th of February at the Olympia Halle Stadium in Munich, Germany, uh, for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Vitaly will be defending his title. Um, it's a great opportunity for Derek, but one he thoroughly deserves, especially after his last fight in Finland, where he beat a guy, uh, Helenus, who was who's now ranked number one by a couple of organizations in the world. And I think even um, Lenny Peters could see that um, he well won that fight, but we didn't go on like Amir Khan and Co. He did win it. It was a, an, an absolutely disgusting decision. Anyway, we're here today, We've got the two guys here. Um, in the past, Vitaly's fought two fighters that I've been involved with. He won his world title in 1999 in London against um, Herbie Hyde. Herbie Hyde, it was on my promotion, he actually won his first title. And then uh, he defended um, a couple of years ago against Danny Williams uh, in the States. So third time lucky, I'm hoping, and I'm quite sure it will be. If confidence win fight, wins fights, Derek Chisora has got a, a great head start. Um, two fabulous athletes, you know, this, this man here is a testament to looking after yourself, keeping your, your body in shape. You know, a lot of young fighters should look to Vitaly and the way he lives and the way he looks after himself. He's been a credit to the sport and what he's done has been fabulous for, uh, as far as that's concerned. And Derek, he's got, when he's got his head right, and he's got his head right like he did in his last fight, he's a handful for anybody. And as I say, if confidence win fights, halfway there. Fight will be broadcast on Box Nation live. Um, you can get that on Virgin Channel 546 and Sky, sorry, 546 and Sky 456. And obviously in Germany it will be carried by RTL. Um, two guys are here. I'm sure you'd much rather hear from them than Karen listen to me. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them. I want to say also that Yeah, okay, sure, so, yeah, you, sorry, yeah. Yeah, we did definitely. Um, Vitaly would like to say a few words before we, uh, we answer the question. It's, well, it's not fair. No, you, you told to what I want to say. Uh, you go good on morning, to talk. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy to be in London. I'm very happy to see Frank Warren. Uh, Frank told uh, two times I fought against uh, uh, the guys who was an under contract, uh, uh, great promoter from, from uh, Great Britain, and actually I have a lot of experience, I fought many times against British guys, and boxing is very popular in uh, England, and uh, I fought in 1999 against Heavy height, uh, a couple of years later, Baby Williams, and I am very uh, thankful on Lennox Lewis. He gave me a chance to prove my skills against the strongest fighter uh, in my career. I fought against Lennox Lewis. Right now, I have to prove my skills uh, against, again, uh, again against the uh, British guy. Uh, not just boxing skills, I have to prove my age. I am not the, young, uh, not the youngest man in heavyweight division. I am always, oh my god, 40, 40 years old. Somebody told me I will be fast. 
so long time, I never believed that, but I feel me like 25, and uh, in great condition, in great form, I have a lot of experience, and Terry Chisora want to prove me, prove my age, prove my skills, and uh, it's actually free defense, but many people told the fights of Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko is boring. Why it's boring? Because we beat everybody, we need to challenge, we need to fight the strongest guy, somebody who can beat us. And Derek Chisora is one of them who have good skills. I was very surprised, his last fight against Helenius. Derek Chisora was winner of the fight. And uh, everybody told about Helenius, he is uh, actually future world champion, the next world champion. The guy beat the world champion. Already, last fight. Can Derek Chisora beat the real heavyweight champion? Is the next fight the question? I'll Have all skills. Question. Wait a second, please. <laughs> I, I uh, give the question, is Derek uh, doesn't study me, but I study him very well and I know his skills and I know this fight will be very interesting. Not just audi uh, for audience, this fight will be very interesting for me. Can Derek Chisora beat me or not? Okay, we can see that in February 18 in historical arena Olympia Halle in uh, Munich. I will be ready to give the answer for questions if somebody has questions. And uh, right now, Derek wants to say a couple of words. I pass the mic microphone to Derek. Go ahead, please. No, I'm alright, it's right. Let's go on. <laughs> you don't know I'm talking for us, anyway, so it's fine. Questions? But so how does it feel to be described as the old man of boxing? How does it feel to be described as the old man of boxing? Translate. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> sorry, the long time doesn't speak English, and that's why I'm sorry. Sorry, English. sorry, English. sorry, English. sorry for my English. <laughs> come from West Ham. Uh, I feel me great. At, uh, every preparation I use. Uh, five, six, seven spark partners, uh, the young guys with very good skills and who is uh, actually uh, almost uh, double younger than me and uh, I, have, I have a feeling I'm not 40, it's uh, physically and uh, with my condition, with, uh, I'm in good performance, my body play with me and uh, I play this game, not a uh, long time. I don't want to break the record of George Foreman. Uh, he was a world champion with 45, but before I think he's 40 years old, he's old man, he's not. And uh, you can see that eight, uh, February 18 uh, in the fight against Sora. Uh, his main point in life with experience, any job, and boxing also, is a very important point. Uh, I have a lot of experience. I defend my title many times against uh, many fighters with different style. And uh, it's the main point, it's the main value of what I have. Uh, my body play with me and uh, this game and uh, I feel good and show, I'm ready to show my performance, my form, my physical performance uh, in, uh, in the fight, February 18. Thank you for your question. Richard? <coughs> you say you won't be going on until you're 45. How, how long, how long, how many more years do you think you'll be going on for? I think we're for every... Is the motivation still the same? 40s you were when you were 30s, 30s. 
every fight can be the last fight. And I prepare for the every fight, like for the last fight in my career. So nobody knows how long I can fight. Just one person. No, uh, I bought the future. That's why, step by step, I uh, prepare for the fight against Derek Sora, like for the last fight in my career. And after that, we can decide. Let's see in the future, step by step. Without step, in uh, February 18, I can explain about the next future. Thank you. Question for Derek. Um, how do you feel about fighting away from home again? And after what happened to you last time, what do you think you'll need to do this time? I tried on it. I love it. You know, uh, you know in, in Helsinki, you know, as an underdog, you know, the more time, the more, the more bulls I had, the more excitement I had. I had. So I, we, we, we tried on it, me and my team. We like to travel there anywhere to fight. And I'm looking forward to fighting Germany, you know, I'm looking forward to like fighting in the most famous stadium, you know. I'm excited to fight, you know, to fight for the biggest prize in, in the sport history, so I'm just looking forward to it. I can't wait. Any more questions? Uh, Derek, is it still in the back of your mind what happened with Vitaly's brother and you? Oh yeah, and as I said already to Vitaly, I hope you don't chicken out like your brother, you know, because we already know one little brother chickens out and the next brother will jump in and then you come out with his story. So I told him already, you just make sure you're there, don't chicken out. So I hope you don't. But who am I, who am I to say that though? You're lucky you're fighting against the weakest brother, oldest and the weakest brother. and. Because if you fight against Vladimir, this will be a bad, bad hand for you. Yeah, it would be, be, be bad hand the same as what happened to David Hay as well, isn't it? So it's not, it's not, it's not really, you know, you, they two, as I can say, K2 don't really bother me, you know. It's like, you know, it pulled out twice, and you know, I hope you don't pull out, you know. So, you know, I'm excited for the fight. I just hope you don't come up with excuses. You know, say you got a problem with this and this. Uh, I just want to fight. That's what I want to do. And I'm looking forward to fight. Derek, I've heard you want to finish the fight until round number eight. Is it true? Oh yeah, right. number eight is my lucky number. You know, uh, you go down the eighth round. You don't know that yet. Yeah. Now he knows, because I just told him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he, he's going down in the eighth round. Do you, you have you got any prediction for what round I'll be going down in? Yes, sir. I just say eight rounds, or what, what round do you think I'll be going down in? Um, you landing in the floor in round number six, and that's why you like a number you doesn't feel. When it's come, you like the number. We'll see about that, ladies and gentlemen, because he don't know what's coming. That's the whole point, you know. I was, I, I say this before, you know. I'm physically coming, you know. Same thing I told, uh, I told, uh, what's that guy's name, the one who robbed me? Lenius. Lenius. I told him, I told Lenius, I'm coming for you. You just make sure you're ready. And he thought I was lying. And when I got in the ring, he knew I was coming to fight. Same thing I'm going to tell you, I am physically, mentally coming to take what's his and make it, what's, make it mine, you know, uh, and I hope you're prepared for that, because I am I'm coming. Derek, I'm sorry, I'm not Hilenius, and you feel that me. No, I'm not comparing you to Hilenius, I never compare my, five, my, my opponents to any other opponents, no, I'm not, but I'm just telling you, you just be, have to be prepared to fight, because I am coming. I know, I know it will be not easy fight. I know how uh, big, how motivated are you, uh, how hungry are you. You want this 
felt you want this title very much, and that why I choose you. The strongest, I, uh, it's not just my, my personal opinion, it's opinion from many experts. I told, it's, uh, everybody told, Chisora is the strongest one right now. At the same time, people are really tired of you and your brother in the boxing game. They're going to bring excitement to the game. So uh, it's time for the new king, and that will be me come February the 18th. You know, I got more, so much fire in me, you know, like, you know, from there, the whole, whole, like, half of the Europe is on my side, you know, America is on my side, you know, I got down southern Africa on my side, and even up north, they're on my side. China. China, they, China never heard of me, but after I walked your ass, they probably heard of me. <laughs> so, you know, you, you just have to be prepared because, you know, the time is here, you know. You know, the time is here. So, you just have to know that it's on. As long as you don't pull out, you don't disappoint people when pulling out. That's all. You just show up, I show up, we get it on. You're right, it's everybody uh, want to see how a challenger can beat the world champions. It will be the main point, it will be very interesting. Go ahead. It's a very interesting fight, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from you. You know, I, I know you apparently I had you're a very massive puncher, but you only can punch something you can see. And I don't think you're going to have any time to see me, because I'm going to be right there. You won't be seeing my face anymore. And uh, you understand what does mean Iron Fist? I know. Uh, As I said, he's the doctor and I'm the Black Plague. And I am coming to destroy him in his own backyard. You know, you are the Iron Fist? Yes. I ain't going to take that away from you. Okay. Very excited. Same here. Derek, what is the character of a Black Plague? It's a dangerous disease you don't want to mess around with. Swarms all over you. Yeah, exactly. And I am not Black Plague. It's not a ballsy core. <laughs> you can call me the White Plague you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me the White Plague if you want. I don't mind. Call me anything you want, but I don't mind. Exactly. Ryan, turn your phone on. Any other questions? <laughs> Is there any explanation that he wouldn't have won the career of the great boxers recently? Listen, you, you know, uh, maybe it hasn't sank, sinking into him, though, but as I say to you already, man, you know, uh, people want a new relief in boxing, and I am that bright and light shine, you know. You know I'm the, I mean, it's, that, it's coming, you know, but it, by the time he goes on in the eighth round, you're going to hear people that talk about boxing, they'll start talking about boxing. Because you know what? Him and his brother killed the sport I love. And there's no, no need of me saying it, but I have to prove it to myself, say, you know what? I'm gonna whoop his ass. Derek, how satisfying would it be to send such a legend like Vitaly Klitschko into retirement? The guy is not gonna retire, he don't wanna retire. He wants to run politics. Until his politics bandwagon gets on the road, then he might start thinking about retiring. But right now, he, he don't want to retire. He feels like he's in the great shape of his life right now. He don't want to retire. You know, what tries to, we know with boxers, he's, you know, he's sitting on the throne. You know, uh, retirement is like giving up something you really love, and then suddenly people won't talk about you. You know, he, he still wants to be in the limelight. I don't think he wants to retire. Am I going to make him retire? No, I don't think so. But I'm going to beat him. Yeah. Frank, in view of what happened to Derek in Finland and Germany's reputation, are you going to press the WBC to have all four neutral officials this time? I'm quite sure that would be the case. It would be under a lot of scrutiny and we will be asking the boxing board of control and ourselves will be asking for that. Um, yeah, instead of having the usual one British, one... No, I think, I think they should be that's how it will be, I'm quite sure of that. You know, we're having the last uh, couple of fights that the British fighters have been involved in quite a while in the last few months that they've boxed abroad. Uh, there's been a bit of controversy, but um, 
you know, um, we hope that the, the eyes of the world, this might be broadcast in America as well, as well as uh, throughout, throughout the world. So I'm, not, you know, I'm quite sure that everyone knowing that, and knowing the, the, the controversy we had of late, that they would ensure the right people are, are um, appointed as referees and judges. I care about that as who's winner after the fight. No, uh, nobody doubt who is the who is winner of this fight. Why? Is because if you uh, in the floor, no question anymore. <laughs> I know I tasted the floor before, so I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, people. You know, the consensus is when you speak to people, you know, Derek's a, a huge underdog. I've got to tell you something, you, you know, anybody who's seen a fight against Alanis, big guy, he can give, he can give, when he's in shape, when he's mindset on it, he gives anybody a lot of problems. He won, well won that fight, minimum of five rounds against Earl Alanis. And style, it's the, old, the old adage, styles make fights, and I know for a fact that he, he's not going to be on his back foot, he's not going to be worrying about his toes, He's going to be in there fighting, giving 100% how he fights. Because that's how, what Derek does. He had a bad night in the office against um, Tyson Fury. No excuses. We all know what happened with that. And we know that he was overweight. You look at him now. He's as fit as anything. He's worked very hard over Christmas. And he'll be in tip-top condition going in to, in, into Germany on the 18th of February. And I'm telling you now, I've been around a long time in this sport. You know, there are upsets. If there weren't upsets, it wouldn't be in the, the word would be in the dictionary. We've seen what's happened in the past with Rockman and Lennox Lewis. We see that what happened in, in Tokyo uh, when Mike Tyson got, got, got beat out there. It's happened time and time again. And I'm telling you, if anybody can do it, this guy can do it. He is going out there, not to make up the numbers, he's going out there to fight. And you're going to watch it live on Box Nation. So make sure you subscribe, get your subscriptions going online and you can watch it on there and you're going to see a Brit go out there and give it his 100%. Thank you. You're right. And that's why, I don't, want, people, right? That's why I don't want to underestimate him and I'm very proud to be the world champion to have the same title what have uh, Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, Mohamed Ali, you are there. Yeah? Where is Mohamed Ali? You changed everything. Yeah? <laughs> Uh, and right now I hold this title and uh, this title I give my best. I don't want to underestimate Chisora is a strong fighter, but I give my best to take this title and hold this title so long, uh, so long time and I can give this title for, uh, by myself back to Federation when I decide by myself. Go to the it's last statement yeah, for me. Are yeah. there any more questions before we uh, Derek? wrap up? Any plans to uh, kiss Vitaly? Pardon? Any plans to kiss Vitaly? Oh. I already offered Vitaly to kiss him, but he didn't shave. <laughs> so I told him I won't be kissing him. If he shaved, yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know, it's a uh, it's hobby of uh, Derek to kiss a man. I, I, like I told him I swing both ways. I like, I like and kiss he, a woman very much. I told him I swing both ways. ways. He, didn't, he didn't believe me, but you know, he didn't shave today, so I'm not up for that. Though. But I know he's, he's gagging for a kiss, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid for the next time to shave before the fight. I, shave. I know you're gagging for a kiss. <laughs> and this is going to be the first of many quality fights we've got on Box Nation from Federer on. We've got some seriously good world title fights which we'll be announcing in the next few weeks. So uh, let's hope um, this delivers what we think it will be, which is a, a cracking fight between two very well-respected heavyweights. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you for coming here. It's Ali and David. Appreciate it. I feel Blunt, blunt, blunt. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt.